How much of a role can a mother play in leading her family down a path of notorious crime? This question takes us to the story of Ma Barker, the alleged puppet master behind the infamous Barker family's criminal exploits. From bank heists to kidnappings and even murder, her name is etched into the annals of American crime history. But how much of this lore is true? To unravel this, we must first travel back to a small town in Missouri. Born in 1873 in Ashgrove, Missouri, Ma Barker's early life gave no hint of the infamy that was to come. The daughter of humble parents, she was raised with a strong sense of family and morality. Her early years were filled with the typical trials and tribulations of a young woman growing up in the rural Midwest. In her late teens, she met and married George Barker, a hard-working man who offered stability and a chance at a normal life. Together, they brought four sons into the world. These boys, who would later be known as the infamous Barker brothers, were brought up in a loving, albeit strict, household. Despite their modest upbringing, there were no early signs of the criminal tendencies that would later define their lives. As the boys grew older, family life became more challenging. Struggles with money coupled with the boys' rebellious nature began to strain the once peaceful Barker household. However, life took a dark turn as her sons grew older. As her sons matured, so did their propensity for crime. The once innocent Barker boys were now full-fledged outlaws. The Barker gang, led by the notorious brothers, began to make headlines across the country. Their criminal portfolio diversified, ranging from bank heists, high-stake kidnappings, to cold-blooded murders. They were audacious, brutal, and seemed to have an insatiable appetite for havoc. Meanwhile, Ma Barker, the matriarch of this crime-ridden clan, was allegedly pulling the strings from behind the scenes. Some say she was the criminal mastermind, the puppeteer controlling her son's every move. Others suggest she was merely a mother, caught in the crossfire of her son's criminal ambitions. Rumor has it, Ma Barker was not just a passive spectator, she was an active participant. She allegedly planned the heists, chose the targets, and even provided the gang with alibis. She was said to be the backbone of the Barker gang, providing structure and strategy to their criminal escapades. This image of Ma Barker as the leader of one of the most notorious crime families in America is indeed tantalizing. It paints a picture of a woman in power defying societal norms and expectations. However, the truth is often more complex than the myths we create. Yet the extent of Ma Barker's involvement in these crimes remains a subject of debate. The image of Ma Barker as the criminal mastermind of the Barker gang is pervasive, but is it accurate? This question has puzzled crime enthusiasts for decades. The myth paints Ma Barker as the puppeteer, pulling the strings behind her son's criminal enterprise. She's seen as the mastermind behind bank robberies, kidnappings, and even murders. However, historical accounts often question her direct involvement. Some argue that Ma Barker was merely a mother, caught in the whirlwind of her son's actions, powerless to stop them. Others suggest she might have been aware, but not the driving force. The FBI, on the other hand, portrayed her as a ruthless leader, a narrative that has persisted in popular culture. But was she truly the brains of the operation, or merely an innocent mother trapped in extraordinary circumstances? The truth may be somewhere in between. We may never know the full extent of her involvement. Regardless of her exact role, Ma Barker met a violent end. In 1935, in Ocklawaha, Florida, Ma Barker's life of crime came to a deadly conclusion. A tense standoff with the FBI, who had tracked her and her son Fred to a quiet lakeside house, escalated into a full-blown shootout. For four relentless hours, bullets flew echoing ominously against the peaceful backdrop. When the smoke cleared, Ma Barker and her son lay lifeless, their reign of terror finally silenced by the overwhelming force of the law. Thus ended the life of one of the most notorious figures in American crime history. Ma Barker's legacy is a complex one, shrouded in myth and controversy. Her name is etched in the annals of American folklore, embodying the image of a ruthless mother orchestrating her family's life of crime. However, this narrative continues to be challenged, sparking debates that question her role in the Barker gang's illicit deeds. Was she the puppeteer or just the puppet? The answer may remain elusive, 
but one thing is certain. Whether mastermind or mother, Ma Barker's place in the annals of American crime is indisputable.